Surya Namaskar, Sun Salutation, is a very ancient practice. It's one of the most useful methods to induce a healthy life. And it's also a very powerful method to prepare ourselves for spiritual growth and to develop our awareness. In modern life, we are used to living with constant worry and tension. The yoga practice, in particular Surya Namaskar, is an ideal antidote to stress. Surya Namaskar can be easily integrated in our lives, as it requires only 15 minutes of daily practice, and in this way we can get benefits in a short time. Surya Namaskar, meaning sun salutations, is a form of worship to the sun, the outer sun and the inner sun. Through Surya Namaskar, we develop devotion to that energy that is the source of life. The Surya Upanishad states that people who worship the sun become powerful active, intelligent, and acquire long life. With this practice, we become aware of the effects of the sun on our lives and how important it was to our ancestors. At the same time, by awakening our own inner solar forces, we can attune ourselves to the cosmic nature and revitalize our lives. It's a series of 12 physical postures, alternating backward and forward bending asanas. The series of 12 poses give a deep stretch to the whole body. First, we have to become familiar with the poses, and then we can start synchronizing the breath with the movements. Basically, we inhale when we perform backward bends and we exhale during forward bends. The ideal time to practice Surya Namaskar is at sunrise, the most peaceful time of the day, facing the rising sun. Anyway, if it's not possible to practice in the early morning, any other time can be suitable if you have an empty stomach. Every year, the sun passes through 12 different phases, known as the signs of the zodiac in Western astrology. According to Hindu astrology, each phase has specific attribute or moods. And in each of these 12 moods, the sun is given a different name. The 12 names comprise the 12 sun mantras, which are to be mentally repeated in their respective order in conjunction with the 12 movements of Surya Namaskar. These sun mantras are not merely names of the sun. Every sound syllable is the vehicle of a basic eternal energy, Shakti, represented by the sun itself. By repetition and concentration on these mantras, the whole mental structure will be benefited and uplifted. The first mantra is Om Mitraya Namaha, salutations to the friend of all. The first position, Pranamasana, embodies the attitude of reverence to the source of all life as we know it. The sun is regarded as the universal friend, endlessly giving light, heat, and energy to support this and all the other planets. The second mantra is Om Ravaye Namaha, salutations to the shining one. Ravaye means one who shines and offers divine blessings upon all life. In the second position, Hasta Uttanasana 
we are stretching our whole being upwards towards the source of light to receive these blessings. The third mantra is Om Suryaya Namaha, salutations to he who induces activity. Surya symbolizes the Supreme Consciousness itself. Surya is regarded as the most concrete of the solar gods, his place being in the sky, while Agni, fire, is his representative on earth. The fourth mantra is Om Bhanave Namaha, salutations to he who illumines. The sun is the physical representation of the guru or teacher who removes the darkness of our delusions. Just as the darkness of the night is removed with every dawn. In the fourth position, Ashwa Sanchalanasana, we turn our face towards this illumination and pray for an end to the dark night of ignorance. The fifth mantra is Om Kagaya Namaha. Salutations to he who moves quickly in the sky. It is the sun's daily movement through the sky which is the basis of our measurement of time. In this pose, we offer respect to the one by whom time is measured and pray for progress in life. The sixth mantra is Om Pushne Namaha. Salutations to the giver of strength and nourishment. The sun is the source of all strength. Like the father, he nourishes us with energy, light and life. We offer respect in Ashtanga Namaskar by touching all the eight corners of our body to the ground. In essence, we are offering our whole being in the hope that he may bestow mental, physical and spiritual strength and nourishment upon us. The seventh mantra is Om Hiranyagarbhaya Namaha. Salutations to the Golden Cosmic Self. Hiranyagarbha is also known as the Golden Egg, resplendent as the Sun. Hiranyagarbha is the seed of causality, thus the whole universe is contained within Hiranyagarbha in the potential state prior to manifestation. In the same way, all life is potential in the Sun which represents the great cosmic principle. We offer respect to the sun in Bhujangasana, the seventh position, praying for the awakening of creativity. The eighth mantra is Om Marichaye Namaha, salutations to the Lord of the Dawn. Maricha means mirage. For our whole life, we seek after a true meaning or purpose, like the thirsty person who seeks water in a desert but is fooled by mirages dancing on the horizon produced by the sun's rays. In the eighth position, Parvatasana, we pray for true illumination and discrimination in order to be able to distinguish between the real and the unreal. The ninth mantra is Om Adityaya Namaha, salutations to the son of Aditi, the Cosmic Mother. Aditi is one of the many names given to the Cosmic Mother, Mahashakti. She is the mother of all the gods, boundless and inexhaustible, the creative power from which all divisions of power proceed. The son is one of her children or manifestations. In the ninth position, Ashwa Sanchalanasana, we salute Aditi, the infinite cosmic mother. The tenth mantra is Om Savitre Namaha, salutations to the stimulating power of the sun. 
Savitre is known as the stimulator, the arouser, and is often associated with Surya, who also represents the same posture, Pada Hastasana. Savitre is said to represent the sun before rising, stimulating and arousing man into waking activity. And Surya is said to represent the sun after sunrise, when activity begins. Therefore, in the tenth position, Padahastasana, we salute Savitre to obtain the vivifying power of the sun. The eleventh mantra is Om Arkaya Namaha, salutations to he who is fit to be praised. Arka means energy. The sun is the source of most of the energy in the world we know. In the eleventh position, Hasta Uttanasana, we are offering respect to this source of life and energy. The twelfth mantra is Om Bhaskaraya Namaha, salutations to he who leads to enlightenment. In this final salutation, we offer respect to the sun as a symbol of the great revealer of all transcendental and spiritual truth. He lights up the pathway leading to our ultimate goal of liberation. In the twelfth position, Pranamasana, we pray that this pathway may be revealed to us. I would like to invite you to learn these 12 mantras and repeat them mentally while you practice the Surya Namaskar. Um Mitraya Namaha Um Ravaya Namaha Om Suryaya Namaha Om Bhanave Namaha Om Kagaya Namaha Om Pushne Namaha Om Hiranyakarbhaya Namaha Om Maritaye Namaha Om Adityaya Namaha Om Savitre Namaha Om Arkaya Namaha Om Bhaskaraya Namaha the powerful energy of these mantras is encased in the sound structure. By repeating the mantra mentally with a single-pointed mind, fully aware, you will release that energy of the mantra into your own being. You will become one with the mantra and start walking the path to know who you really are, walking the path to infinite awareness without limitations.